What do you think have been the highlights of your time working for Michael Jordan? Wow. That is so hard. The list is so long. Uh, Michael, Hall of Fame, there. Derek Jeter, Yankees winning the World Series, there. Uh, Russell Westbrook, back-to-back -back MVPs, All-Star Game, there. Chris Paul, Rookie of the Year, there. Working for Nike and working for Jordan, that's the biggest highlight. But just a moment in time where you realize that the odds of being in those moments, I'm a kid from Toledo, Ohio, that the vehicle of basketball have taken me places that my eyes could not even imagine of being. And I was there. Um, being from Toledo, Ohio, I saw a lot of athletes that went off to school and came home sometimes after the first semester. And I, I had aspirations to do something different. 77 when I came in, 76 they won, I think six games, they were like six and 23. And I didn't know that before I signed my scholarship. So I was like, okay, they lose and they lose a lot. That's not a good recipe for me. But I knew that there was an opportunity because we can turn it around. And uh, we turned around, we had a 20 plus season my first year as a freshman. The simple things at Hillsdale made it special. I saw the Hillsdale community rally behind our basketball team. And it was a sporting good store downtown Hillsdale. Whenever my shoes got to a point where they got bad, the owner would um, make sure he called the coach and he exchanged my old shoes for new shoes. I said, but every time I put my jersey on, I want to make sure that you remembered who Hillsdale College was when you played us. I graduated on a Saturday, and on a Sunday after graduation, I took off for LA to try to make it to the next level, which is professional basketball. And I got a call from a squad from Caracas, Venezuela, to come over to Venezuela and play semi-professional basketball there, and I took that opportunity. In that process, I learned that when I graduated, I wanted a job. But I didn't know that there's two differences. There's a job, and then there's a career. And as I saw myself playing ball in Venezuela, I had a job, but now I want to come back and focus on the career. It's a different dialogue when you stop scoring baskets and no one's cheering anymore. Then what do you do? I started off in Nike as a, um, a sales rep. You're away from your bosses at times, and sometimes when you're away from your bosses, you have a tendency to want to loaf. But if you want to be successful, you had to drive yourself from within. Timeline. My wife was eight and a half months pregnant when I um, took the job with Nike. My oldest son is 25 years old. I'm a very proud father of four boys, and they all play basketball. Are they pretty good? Much better than I was at their age. So, but just for the camera, yeah, I wouldn't tell them that, but yes, they are much better than I was at my age. The 10 years in sales was huge for me uh, because now working with athletes and when they compete at the highest level of the, in their sport and have those great sport moments, it helped drive the consumer to retail. In the consumer mind, we were just a basketball brand. And so we made that transition from a basketball brand to a cool culture style brand to now saying, okay, well, how do we have the elite of the elite in this brand? But in athletes, you gotta stay at that level. And that's where the challenge began because like Derek, for example, when you're a Yankee, you just, there's, there's love and then there's hate for the Yankees. And they, you got to a point where it's like, I'm, we're tired of seeing the Yankees win. It was always challenging for me to try to identify who could be that next group of assets and then who could be that next group that I actually can put in front of Michael saying that I did my homework, what about this young man? Or what about this young lady? Michael was involved in everything that I did. Every decision that I made is totally different talking to someone that's been in the industry, but you're talking to the one, the best that ever played the game, especially when it comes to basketball. And if I got the veto, I was okay with it. My whole Nike 24 and a half years of experience at Nike was amazing. Uh, but working for Michael, there was no day that was the same. Uh, 
I constantly would remind him that I wouldn't want to be him for 24 seconds because of the responsibility of always having to be on. One thing that I could say in my 13 years with working with him and for him was there's not a shadow of a doubt whether or not he cares about me. And not just me, my family. He's been an extension to be invested in everything that I do, and he didn't have to. What's next? Knowing the ride that I've had through Hillsdale, coming out, identifying a job and a career, and then the career that I've had, what can get better? It's uh, just a journey. Part of me that is hard for me to assume, but I know it's God. Going from a kid from Toledo, seeing the world through a vehicle basketball, I've seen the world.